With XRP blasting through resistance, will it continue this rise or will it drop? Stay tuned and find out. What's up everybody, it's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart list, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets, and today we'll be taking a closer look at XRP and XLM, and if you are new to this channel and you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for future content, and guys, let's get this video up to 500 likes and subscribe right now because you know this is the best place to get your content for technical analysis. That being said, as you all know, this is a God-fearing channel, and I always like to say you know give you guys some motivation and some scripture and today's message is be as a child and i want to tell you guys the story and as you can see in the title i'm a big sonic fan i've always been a big sonic fan and you're probably wondering how i'm going to, how I'm going to tie this up to giving you guys a scripture so as like when i was a child i was got up like at six in the morning about six in the morning five in the morning to watch sonic the hedgehog and if y'all know the old school Sonic cartoon that it came on very early depending on where you lived. Uh, <laughs> I always got up with my little sister we just watch it and it was like, ah, Sonic! Here we go crazy. And so, it, the same way that I woke up every day just almost religiously to watch Sonic the Hedgehog, my favorite cartoon, uh, the same energy, the same effort, the same, uh, you know, intentions that I had on, I'm gonna watch it, I'm doing this with, you know, vigor, like, I, I have zeal to watch this show, that's the same way we need to come to God as a child, and we need to come to Him with that same, uh, passion that children have, because if you realize children have faith, because, when you tell your child something, they, they believe you because they're the parent. Like, they believe almost every single thing that you tell them. They may not believe certain things you tell them, but for the most part, children will believe every single thing you say. So here's a scripture that I have for you guys. It's Mark 10 and 15. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not in enter therein. So... You have to have that faith that a child has. They have such faith that it's so pure, so uh, it's like almost blinding, following to the T. And there's another verse. I'm not. I can't quote it like, verbatim, but it's pretty much saying there's people that seen Jesus, you know, you know, and they believe. But the ones that haven't seen him are really blessed because they haven't seen him. And for you to give your life to Christ and you haven't seen him, you're truly blessed for that. So I just wanted to say that. And uh, I hope you guys got the message out of this. <laughs> and I'm going to definitely, you know, try to watch the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sometime soon because I heard it's really good. And I, as a long time Sonic fan, I'm going to watch it. So uh, subscriber shout out goes to Pablo Domain made it to be the first comment on my channel so that's awesome shout out to you uh if you guys want to get a subscriber shout out definitely comment in the comment section and give this video a like and you know boost this video let's go uh that being said you guys let's jump into the technical analysis on xrp and xlm and see where things go all right stay tuned peace So as you can tell, we are looking at XRP right now and it's looking beautiful. It looks like it's trying to go parabolic. It looks like it's pushing strong to the upside. I love it. Uh, what I do want to first and foremost look at and show you guys how powerful uh, this signal is on Ichimoku. Uh, this is the one of the most powerful signs that you could get in Ichimoku is a bullish TK cross on the weekly time frame if you get a bullish tk cross on the weekly time frame or the monthly time frame that's a very strong signal if you get a bearish tk cross it's a very strong signal 
they haven't officially crossed yet, but they are intersecting. Because this could very well still dip to the downside. And you guys know if we draw this out, that this is still a wedge, a falling wedge pattern. All right, a rising wedge pattern, I'm sorry. Uh, so as you could see, price could still come down here to like 24, 25 cent level and still, you know, because when there's a breakout, usually it has to come back and test those levels to make sure it's strong, then move up to the upside. But in this case, we, since it is crypto, we may just get that full moon to the upside. As you see, when we had our TK cross here, you see price just went crazy just exploded to the upside it just exploded actually it was right in here where it's exploded to the upside and you know when we get that on the ichimoku system you see how powerful that signal is so we things gonna start rep, ramping up real quickly and going to the upside very fast so i'm looking at that but focusing on the daily time frame as you can see if we extend out here you could tell that price is next level of resistance is at this 33 cent 800 level so this is where i'm watching because it has touched multiple times in this area as you could tell and after that would be between the range of 35 and 36 and that's what i'm really targeting so how do i plan on playing this off and where do i see it going i plan i plan on this going higher because I looked at the time frames, I want to skip right to the one hour time frame because we have some strong indication of continuation to the upside. Even Ichimoku is saying that the trend, or RCI is saying that the trend is very strong and we could still push higher. Uh, we have a hidden bullish divergence, as you can tell, which is prices making uh, lower highs, as you can see. Higher lows, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, higher lows as you can see right here, while the oscillator is making lower lows as you can see right here. So price, this is saying that there's hidden divergence in this area and we are soon to break this level. If not come to this level, then descend down. So where am I targeting for this? If I'm going to be realistic, I'm, I'm showing you two targets that I have. First target, it, I will make it this line here, this blue, I'll make this blue because blue is uh, considered profiting. Second level that I, I anticipate prices coming up to is right in this box here. So let me make this a little thicker. So let me go ahead and do this. Right in here. I expect price to come in here. These are the first two levels I'm anticipating. So one and two. So 35 cents and 33 cents. These are the two levels that I'm looking at. And that's my prediction and my price analysis for this and forecast. Uh, looking at Stellar Lumens, XLM. You know, let's go here real quick. Here's one thing that, that's similar. Let me go back to the XRP real fast before I finish off here. Now notice XLM and uh, XRP are very similar, which is very interesting. They they have this exact same formation. When Kijinsen is flat, that means momentum is slowed until it angles to the upside. When you see that angle, you get some moves like this. The steeper the angle, the stronger the move. When they're close like this, and they're moving at an angle together that's how you know the trend is really strong when you get angulation like this and they're this close together market is moving very strong now here this is where i'm concerned because this is flat because we could still come down for a correction probably to this level and this level so that's something that we also have to pay attention to same thing with xlm it's flat here so we could still get a correction down here then we get a move to the upside let me go do this real quick. As you see, price is fighting at the eight cent level, trying to move higher. As you see, it looks the exact same like XRP. 
So when I see this, I, I'm just thinking XRP and XLM follow each other. They they do very similar moves. As you see here, it looks just like the XRP chart, very similar. Except for I'm thinking this one moves a little bit faster and it has a little bit harder of the drops. I'm not sure I have to do analysis on the difference between the two. But when you look at this, uh, I'm expecting the same thing with XRP. I mean, XLM, I expecting prices to move up in this area. Uh, first target would be here. Make this blue. Second target would be up here. Make this blue. So this is where I'm targeting for the price to continue. Uh, I'm not sure how long, but the reason why I'm going with that exact same thing hidden bullish divergence as you can see same exact thing that xrp is doing and you see that the trend is strong on the rci green line is above the the positive 70 and 80 level so that's what i see right now that's my analysis for both pairs i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts and stay tuned for the next video all right peace Thank you.